So I'm going to run down all of what you're going to need to make the best macaroni and cheese you've ever had. Over here, I like making things simple, easy, and quick, and flavorful. So here's all of what you're going to need. I have the elbow noodles. I got some Velveeta, some sour cream. That's a game changer, if you don't know, but I'm going to show you. Some whole milk. I got some extra sharp cheddar cheese. I got some mozzarella, I got some mild cheddar cheese, and I have some Monterey Jack. Let's get into it. All right, guys, before we drop our noodles into this water, I just wanted you to see how it looks. I'm letting the water come to a boil, and I already have a little oil in there so that our noodles don't stick. But right now, I'm going to salt the water. Ooh-wee. So it's about that time. We're going to add our pasta. And guys, you want to make sure that you go according to the box instructions for al dente pasta. You do not want to cook this pasta all the way because it will be mushy because it's going to cook again in the oven. So make sure that you follow the box instructions for that pasta to come out al dente. Okay? All right. We just want to mix it around a little bit to make sure that they're not sticking together. All right, now let's do this for the seven minutes that it requires. And I'll come back to that when it's done. Okay, our noodles are done. They are al dente. I've already tried them to make sure. Now I'm just gonna set these into a bowl and you don't wanna run any cold water over them because you want these noodles to be hot so that you can melt your butter and season this onto them. But as usual, you know, I'll be showing you guys everything that I do and everything that I'm speaking of. So for now, I'm just going to place these into a, a bowl. Then we'll move forward from there. All right, guys. So to your al dente noodles, you want to add some butter. I forgot to show you guys the butter earlier, but this is it. So we're going to add a stick of this and make sure it's like room temperature. You don't want it to be too cold because then it'll be difficult to melt. It'll take even longer. But remember, your noodles should still be hot. Do this immediately. Okay? Just want to mix that through. Let it get all through it. Make sure your pasta has the butter all over. This is a very important step. Just want to do this until the butter is completely melted. Alright, so at this point, it's safe to now add our sour cream. Now that we've added our sour cream, we're gonna just mix that thoroughly and make sure that it's everywhere. Adding the sour cream definitely helps with making this dish extra creamy and definitely flavorful. A lot of people don't know about this step, but it's definitely a game changer. And I'm gonna show you guys that it's definitely delicious. All right, so that's mixed in. So now let's season our noodles. So now we're gonna add some black pepper. All right, that should do. And guys, let me share this with you. This, and guys, let me show you. This right here is my favorite to add to macaroni and cheese. This seasoning here, it boosts up the cheese flavor for some reason. I can't explain it, but it definitely works. I don't use all that garlic powder, onion powder, because that changes the flavor. You're supposed to keep this simple and straight to the point. But this right here, definite game changer. So if you try this out and you like it, let me know. So I'm going to sprinkle some of that in there. You don't need that much. Trust me, guys. A lot of people don't know that, but this right here, if you don't want to, you can use regular salt. But trust me, try this out. The way it changes the cheese flavor 
and it just enhances it it does something to the cheddar i don't know but it works hey okay, guys so that just about does it our noodles are well seasoned i tasted it definitely flavorful so let's move on to the next step this is okay to just sit like this what we're going to do now is work on our cheese sauce then we're going to come back to this and put it all together all right so to start our sauce off we're going to add an entire stick of butter there you go you're going to let that melt we're basically going to make a roux so that we can thicken this sauce up so we're just going to let this melt then we're going to add some flour to it okay so our butter has completely melted so what I'm going to do now is gradually add the flour. You don't want to cook this long. You just want to make sure that it's incorporated because you, you don't want it to turn a brown color as if you were making gravy. That you don't want. <laughs> Trust me. All right. Okay, so this is perfect right here. Just going to let it go for another few seconds to get that flour taste out. All right, so now to this point. You want to add your whole milk. And you just want to make sure that's all stirred in together. And eventually it'll start to thicken up. You'll see the difference. So guys, I'm going to continue stirring this until it gets a little thick. I don't want to hold you here. So I'll be right back. All right, so with this cheese sauce, what you really want to do is just make sure that the milk is getting warm. And as soon as it gets a little warm, you want to start adding your cheese, but you want to keep stirring because you don't want to scorch your milk. It can burn the bottom of your pan and then you'll have a bunch of little black things floating in there and you don't want that. You'll have to start all over because it will taste bitter and it'll be difficult to pick out all of those little black things from the bottom of the pot, which is burnt milk. Okay, so when your milk is a little warm, you want to start by adding your cheeses. I'm going to start with using Velveeta first because that's in chunks and I want that to break down. The shredded cheese is not going to take no time for that to melt. You want to start whisking that to make sure that doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan and you don't want that to get burned as well. So as soon as this is melted, I will show you exactly what it's supposed to look like. The Velveeta is completely melted now. As you can see, there's a slight difference. It's starting to thicken up and the milk looks much creamier than it did earlier. Okay, so now to this, we're going to add our shredded cheese. And guys, I won't be seasoning as much because we seasoned our noodles already and cheese has salt in it already. So the most I will be adding is just a tiny bit of uh, seasoning salt and some black pepper. So I'm not gonna add it all in at once because I don't want any clumps in there and I don't want it to be at the bottom to give it a chance to burn. So I'm gonna gradually add that cheese. Okay, that's all of the cheese for our cheese sauce. Now we're just gonna mix it until it gets thick. Well, slightly thick, not too thick. You want it to be able to go all through your noodles and you know coat them. You don't want it to be a watery liquid. That took no time, you see what I mean? I had to break down that Velveeta cheese, but the shredded cheese took no time to melt. All right, so we're just gonna let this thicken up. All right, so I'm gonna add a little black pepper to this. Just a little. Mix that in. You see how it's starting to get thick? This is going to be the best cheese sauce you've ever had. Okay, now I'm going to add a little bit of seasoning salt. Not much. Just a sprinkle. Now I'm going to continue whisking this for another three to five minutes the most so that it can get a little bit thicker. And then we'll add this to our noodles and add the rest of the cheese. All right, so our cheese sauce is done. This is the perfect consistency that you want because you don't want it too thick because it won't give the uh, macaroni and cheese any moisture when you're baking it. So this is perfect right here, okay? So let's add this to our macaroni noodles. Then we'll add the rest of the cheese and then place it in the oven. All right, guys, so now we're gonna add this cheese sauce to our noodles. I'm gonna just dip a measuring cup in here. 
because the ladle that I have is not big enough for that. Look at that goodness. All right, let's get the first few cups in there. Mix that on up. You want to make sure that it's all through there. No dry noodles left behind. <laughs> okay, let's add some more. This cheese sauce smells amazing. I know when you make it, you're gonna love it. Just a little more. Okay, that is perfect. That's a perfect amount. You don't want to overdo it because you don't want it soupy. And remember, we're adding other cheeses. This sauce is just made to keep the moisture in this dish. And also, of course, for flavor. Okay, so let's transfer this to another dish and add the rest of the cheeses. So now that we got this all mixed through, let's add our cheeses. Gonna start off with the Monterey Jack. Get that mixed through. So now we're going to add some of this mozzarella. All right, so that's all mixed in. So now let's transfer this to our bacon dish and add the rest of the cheese. All right, so we have our mac and cheese and the Bacon dish, now we're gonna add the remainder of our cheese. We're just gonna mix that in. Definitely wanna get this mozzarella for that, for that nice cheese pull. All right, let's mix that in. Okay, so the cheese is all through there, along with that cheese sauce. So now you just wanna level it out. Now we're gonna add the rest of the mozzarella and mild cheddar cheese to the top. Guys, this is gonna be amazing. It has cheese all throughout it. And not to mention, the flavor is going to be really good. All right, guys. So now I'm going to put a cover on this and place it into the oven on 350 for about a half an hour covered with foil. And then I'm going to uncover it for about 10, maybe 15 minutes. But I'll show you exactly what I'll be doing. So I'm going to pop this in the oven right now and I'll be back. All right, guys, I just wanted to let you see what we're looking like so far. This is before I let it get browned. So I'm going to pop this back in the oven uncovered and let it get a little bit of brown color on it. And then we're done. Yeah, now we're done.
All right, guys, so here's the best part. We are finished. Tell me that doesn't look good. Sometimes through the process when you're making things, it doesn't always look so appealing. But when it's done, man, listen, and that's exactly what we have here. Ooh, weird. 